What's going on, everybody? My name is Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Life is Strange. Ready to get your ass kicked every Fridays. Oh, it's a video game club, I see. I got you. I was very confused. I was like, is this some kind of crazy fight club? In the last episode, we snuck into Blackwell Academy to get into the principal's office. I don't actually remember why. Was that ever a thing? What's this? There's no way David would get in Mrs. Grant's face. She'd shut his mm. ass down fast. Michelle Grant sends blah, 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 white out, white out, white out. Dear Ms. Grant, as head of security at Blackwell, it's my job and duty to make sure all the bases have been covered when it comes to pro protecting the student body. I know I'm nobody's favorite among the faculty and students, but I know I'm making sure their safety is my prime directive. Uh, since taking over head of security, my statistics speak for themselves, as does the 15.4 drop in campus crime. I respect your position as science teacher, but you have unfairly de 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 demonized my plans for surveillance system with a cowardly petition. I hope that you'll redact this petition, reconsider the human cost of not retrofitting Blackwell Academy with the latest in safe and private security. Sincerely, Matson David. Yeah, I disagree. I disagree. No, Chloe, I don't want to talk to you yet. It's a reason why. Only a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. Yes, Max. Just zombie you. out in the hallway. Forget about the principal's office. I'm not zombie out. I'm freaking exploring. I'm not. I'm not even in the hallway anymore. You butthole. Oh, Lord, it's weird that keyboard so far away from the computer. Is there really nothing else here? Just the hat. That's oh, and the lighter. Bat rooms. All right. Is there seriously nothing else? Yes, Chloe, take freaking five years to unlock a door with how many keys you have? Like two? Speak. That's it. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. Kick it down. He's hiding shit. Like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking. Thanks to Frank. <laughs> I might as well test out my thief skill. All right. Oh, 99 Thief. Thief. Oh my god, Skyrim. Well, you could look for the key. Just in case. Why oh yes, no. You're already doing that. Oh crap. Lost in fact. Okay, good. Hopefully it's actually in here. Because now I don't have to explore the entire school again. Dude, you should totally go through those files and learn stuff and things. Oh no. We gotta totally have to go through the school again because it's not gonna be in any of these. Actually, it's probably gonna be in the last one, isn't it? Boring. Stoop through the files and finances and stuff. Crap. Dang it. It's in the bathroom. It's in the hunting hat. Oh, there Where we are go. The keys? Derp. None oh. for the principal's office. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. Um. Has a name. Does it? Hmm. Hey, Warren, you busy? Warren? What is he gonna do? Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, the hell? I need your physics expertise is that a game? stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? We're gonna blow up this no. door? I'm just asking for fun. <laughs> Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Now. Yes, Not clean I'm still adventures. All in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thank you. <laughs> Chloe's like, what the hell? <laughs> this sucks ass. Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. She barely hit the Sorry, dang wall. Max. I was talking louder. I got nothing. What about your plan? Oh my god, sugar, a soda can. So Can duck on. Here and not get caught? I oh, might get impossible. on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. It's not gonna happen. We're gonna rewind time to freaking win this race. No, are we serious? Why are we blowing up a dang door, man? Now pay attention, 007. I need fine. Four objects. Sugar, a soda can, duct tape, soda and I don't know what any of these are. Here's how you'll do it. Sugar and I don't know what that is. Lighter? No, it's a soda can. Duh, and duct tape. Oh, okay. All four. Wrap up the soda can. Put it yellow in it. Put the nachos. It looks like nachos. Sodium chloride. That's gotta be the. Yeah, it's a sodium chloride. 
I don't know. I guess you just combine sodium chloride. What the fuck? This is a powder used to. What? What the fluff? <laughs> it's just a powder used to create chloride dioxide. Shit, everyone knows that. So are you gonna really gonna try this? Cures try. I bow to your wisdom. Okay, my dad looks like a lumberjack. This uh, this hat's kind. Of, ooh. This hat's kind of ooh, like a sword I can, right? Ooh, sugar. Ooh, kill him. Only three more items to go. Uh, duct tape. What's this? I saw you. Ha. Squirrels like nuts. Does that How to mean feed your inner works? spirit animal? Nah. Hmm. Interesting. They brought up spirit animals quite a bit in this game. Samuel being a squirrel, me being a doe. Chloe's a butterfly. Let's face it, she's a blue butterfly. Uh, what else is there? Classic nerd. Let's see what? if I can find those oh. items. I was gonna say. Here, could you see some relating to Warren or something? What do you know? Trash. Gosh dang it. So there's gotta be a soda can in one of these somewhere. Does it have to be a soda soda can? Soda can! You could kinda use this as a soda can. No trophy will help Blackwell's reputation now. There's hats! Will hats help? Hats have got to help. Trash can! Nothing here. I think that would be an everyday thing for uh No, I don't want to go in there. I think that would be an everyday thing for the school. But no, apparently not. Vending machine! <gasps> Release the crack Probably just stay happy. The crack hand! <laughs> I like that. That's awesome. It's all mine anyway. Alright. Sodium chloride and duct tape. I'm scratching my leg. Sorry. Home. Whoa, we're halfway home. You still there? Did you blow up, Max? So here, didn't blow up yet. I need a country now. Talk to you later. Okay, good. I was, I was gonna say, I hope he doesn't text me five times a minute for the rest of this game, because that'd be a little bit of no annoying. Um, I'm assuming the sodium chloride's gonna be in here. Gross. I hate that formalin smell. Formulin? Periodic table, blah, 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 Graf graffiti, graffiti, uh, science book, I didn't see that before. This is where Warren was sitting, I believe. Oh, I saw that so shelf. So, sodium chloride is a weed killer. You'd think Warren would have told me that factoid. <clears throat> Probably sodium chloride is an inorganic compound is commonly used as a weed killer. That's cool. You're a weed killer chemistry stuff <laughs> this mixture doth not work i see i see i see uh -huh, i see jet dan, 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 dan. wow they just keep that up there that's weird you'd think they would not do that ha you know <laughs> this girl has a cigarette in his mouth don't waste your rewind power use the damn chair oh i'm an idiot you'd think i would learn after the six times we've done this Ooh, that would be bad if that, like, I tried to grab that and I tipped over and fell on my face. <laughs> Ooh, gross. At least switch to E6. That's pretty funny. I like that. <laughs> Photograph! Ooh. This is gonna be my photo entry. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to choose one of these photos to give to Mr. Jefferson, aren't I? I don't know which one is my best. Duct tape. I'm very unsure where I'd find duct tape. I'm going to actually probably guess Mr. Jefferson's class, right? Because they're kind of bringing us all over the place. There's, There's got to be something I can use here. Here? As in in this classroom? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with my gut and say the last thing's going to be. Because there's one in the principal's office, one in the hallway, one in the science room. That's a pattern at this point. This is like a scene in a horror film. Interesting. We've already been in here. Oh. Look at this photo. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Oh, yeah, it's kind of a huge landmark. I feel gross even looking oh, at Nathan's work. But he does have some style. But he do. I thought I, I thought I had another option there for a second. I was quite confused. Duct tape. There we go. The tape I knew it. Mine. I knew it. I wonder if that's been there since we in the game. Chloe that Max is the bomb. 
Jefferson.com. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took mm. the class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. All right, let's get out of here. So I get the feeling we're not going to be alone here for very much longer. There's totally nothing that gives that away. Definitely not the preview for this episode. Ha 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 ha. I think we should actually close this door behind us. Oh, did you turn the lamp on? Was that always on? Pipe ball. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom. Literally. Yes. Time to blow shit up. If you'll light the candle. This is so cool. Get ready to haul this out. This is really stupid. I feel like we should at least, like, pry the door open. That was pretty cool. It was so fucking cool. <laughs> oh, we are toast. Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? Let's get in here quick, like. Let's do what we came here to do, son. What do we do? <laughs> Computer? Do we leave? There's nothing in here. There's nothing I can click on. What? There's only one way around this. What? Have I already been busted big time? Uh huh. Oh, this is before. Oh, that's cool. This ancient door is no match for Max the Magician. Oh my god, what? <laughs> Welcome to my domain. You are magic. I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. Wow, I didn't even think about that. That's cool. Now, let's find what we want and feed it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal. Holy crap, I didn't room. think about that. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money. But no taste. Deja vu. It feels like I was just in here. Oh, I feel like How that was a bad idea. <gasps> the bird picture! Bird in his office. I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Are we looking for anything in particular, or do we just find this guy very suspicious? Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair? That was a very bad idea. Turn the damn light off. Get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel or Kate or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. Anybody, anybody, anybody living now. Anybody, anybody, anybody sucks. All right, let's just go crazy here. Turn on all the lights. What? Fudge blower, blow the lock, Unabomber. Oh, please, let's see if you knew your explosives and to see your incredible artwork. <laughs> LOL. I certainly can't use this. Why not? Don't you want to read up on people? Kate's files. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. Um, in the wrong place. Let's, let's do this. Oh my god. GPA 3.4. 3.9. I think 4 is the max, right? So she's pretty dang smart. Kate Beverly Marsh. Kate Marsh represents the very best of the students of Blackwell Academy. Her GPA is consistently outstanding along with her optimistic attitude and quiet work ethic. Her ex extracurricular activities ex with Meals on Wheels program is acknowledged by the KBA 7 News. And her, and her, her diverse religious studies group has been a welcome addition to the wide range of student-led spiritual programs at Blackwell. She's also one of the best attendance records in the school's history. Principal Wells, as a school nurse, I should inform you that Kate Marsh appears to have experienced some recent emotional or physical trauma. I spoke to her briefly, and she was upset but vague and refused to talk with me farther. I think it's important that we keep our eyes on her and make sure she's not under duress from other classmates, as in my suspicion. Regards, Anne-Marie Berenchi. Update. At present time, there is a security investigation into a controversial video allegedly featuring Kate Marsh at a Vortex Club party that has been uploaded on the internet without her knowledge or alleged consent, along with her claim of being taken hostage during 
the party. Oh, hospital. I was going to say hostage. Wait. See the attached files for complete details. Cool. So words, that's probably on the computer. Two more files to go. Uh, are we done with this part of the room? I guess so. Let's turn off the lamp. I'm not leaving evidence behind. Screw that crap. Wowzer. This will so not come in handy. <laughs> oh, wowzer. Wowzers, Bowsers. Looks like an oil painting spill. Awful. You're awful, stupid idiot. Look at this pile. Look at this pile. This pile's amazing. Give it a like. Mmm, it tastes just like raisins. You're not so tacky up close. Who's a pretty bird? You're a pretty bird. Who's a pretty bird? You're a pretty bird. That's a bronze hawk. Wow, you could just log on to that computer. That's pretty hilarious. No. Bronze hawk. Hello. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. <clears throat> uh, Nathan Joshua Prescott. He doesn't have a spotless record. He just abuses his powers and doesn't get any in shit for anything. Nathan Prescott continues his family historical legacy at Blackwell Academy as a stellar ac academic record and variety of ex extracurricular activities, including work with Ac Arcadia Bay Homeless Fund. Nathan is also popular with the students and faculty. He stands as a proud representation of Blackwell. He doesn't get in shit. Because he probably has freaking time rewind powers like too. I'm not gonna read my own personal file. Mm, Two point eight. Dang it, Max! You're better than that. Max says she prefers to be called. Oh, um, is considered quite, quite attentive student with much potential for her photography. Her GPA fluctuates as she has acknowledged she should be doing better. Her teachers back up her quiet intelligence, though some complaints fi find her too nervous and nosy. Some faculty members would like. Max to speak up more in class and be more assertive. Others would like her to be less so, but this is a common student suggestion rather than a specific recommendation. Update, despite her some recent uh, confrontations with Blackwell security, Max tried to unsuccessfully stop fellow student Kate Marsh from jumping off the dormitory roof to her death today. At this time, there is an ongoing police faculty investigation, but Max's bravery, bravery is undisputed. That's awesome. I'm this loved. This going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. 3.9, dang, oh, pff, mm. oh, wait, no, I was going to say same with uh, Nathan, but no, I'm thinking of Kate. Victoria Chase is the gold standard for Blackwell Academy, a student with a consistently high GPA and extracurricular activities that reflect her career goals in photography. Victoria also receives high marks from the faculty for her devotion to Vortex Club, among other organizations uh, devoted to Blackwell Spirit and History. Considering we just saw her trying to freaking sleep with Jefferson, I'm calling right now, she freaking... Goes for the male teachers and gets high marks that way. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. 4.0, holy crap. Warren is considered an ex, ex, uh, exemplary student and represents a long tradition of excellence in science at Blackwell. He has the gift or curse of gab depending on his faculty. Some have accused him of playing science pranks, but this is uh, not confirmed by a science teacher, Miss Ms. Grant. We all Warren focus his academic vision continues towards the bright future. That's cool. Didn't see that Let's one coming. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Always wanted to say nab. <laughs> Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. <clears throat> not much here about the Ooh, good police Lord. investigation. Uh, Rachel Dawn Amber. Unfortunately, Rachel Amber has stopped attending classes for the past month and left no contact with students or faculty for the past month. That, that's awkwardly worded, saying past month twice in a sentence. Dang you writers for being horrible. Her parents are at the present unaware of her whereabouts and Blackwell hopes for a quick return to continue academic excellence. Brief summary, Rachel Amber is the quintessential student. Oh, she has a 4.0 GPA as well. Cool. A student representation of Blackwell Academy. She excels in all of her studies and extracurricular activities, which are numerous. Popular with both students and faculty, she has a de facto qualities of scholarship and leadership that is a hallmark of Blackwell's legacy. Her diverse goals include a career in international law and fashion modeling. There's no doubt that Rachel achieved all of her dreams with Blackwell as the fulcrum. Principal Wells, this is Lieutenant, Lieutenant Chris Rossi. Just wants to let you know Rachel Amber's investigation has officially been closed on our end. We always hope that one magic clue, but once again, Arcadia Bay covers up another secret. We always keep our eyes and ears open, but that's all we can do now. Thanks for all your help. Lieutenant Chris Rossi, Arcadia Bay APD. It's interesting how everyone talks about how many secrets this town has. I don't know if that's just, like, saying, like, you know, because every town has all their secrets and all yeah, that, but it's, they really, the principal for really highlight Chloe. that. Bad, Chloe. Expelled. 
Um, Chloe Elizabeth Price. GPA 1.7. Chloe Price, a problematic student at Blackwell despite the best efforts of the faculty and administration to guide her academically. Chloe does little homework and is often will willfully belligerent to her teachers. She has caused numerous class disruptions with inappropriate comments and rude gestures to fellow students. She was recently suspended for spray painting graffiti in the parking lot. Excuse me. Even though Chloe is an intelligent student with potential, she chooses to squatter on empty rebellion against a non-mandatory institution. Update. Chloe Price no longer seen a black wall. She see attached police reports. And that's it. Oh, crap. Okay, good. I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. She's right there, dude. <laughs> Don't need to join. Oh, no. I can't look at that. I have an option to look at that now. Dang it. Oh, maybe it was just this one. Okay, because I can still look at these files. All right, well, if you don't want to listen to me read the rest of the journal here, freaking eight pages, uh, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, the best way to help uh, support me is by leaving a like and subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks. Um, I think I read all this, right? Went down back there. Yeah, okay, dead inside. Eyeball. When I stepped out of the dorm, I saw Kate split, splayed on the ground. She was surrounded by paramedics while the police kept the students back. I hope they all got a good look at... Their victim. They wanted to watch her on a viral video when she was alive, and now they want to gawk at her in death. Not that I did anything to help her stay alive. Of course you did. Don't say that. You tried your best. Freaking Max. All my amazing new superpowers were worthless. I'm nobody's here. Aww. I mean, it makes sense she's being hard on herself, because I feel like everyone's hard on themselves in situations like this. It's not enough that Kate is dead, and I'm numb inside. I had to go to Blackwell Third Degree from Principal Wells. It was a bizarre to be... In his tacky office with Nathan Prescott, David Madsen, and Mr. Jefferson calmly talking about why Kate jumped off the roof. Part of me wanted to smash Nathan's smug face against the desk, knowing he had something to do with Kate's suicide. I thought about doing it, then flipping a quick rewind, but I knew that it would be the start of a bad, dangerous habit. Fortunately, Principal Wells amazingly did the right thing and booted Nathan for a few days after I told him what happened in the bathroom. He must have more shit on Nathan, because otherwise I doubt this would happen to a Prescott that's some... Well, justice for Kate. There'll be more if uh, if there's if it's the last thing I can do, which it could be if I'm not careful. Yep, yep, yep. I need a vacation for my life. I hung out with Warren on the lawn. I could feel the grass under my feet and watch the fluffy clouds. He's such a sweetheart. He kept telling me I did everything I could for Kate, even though I know I didn't. Yes, you did. Stop that. I told Warren that something ominous is happening at Blackwell Academy. Rachel, Amber, Chloe, and now Kate have been all been victims. Not to mention me, if I keep playing amateur detective. I wish I could have told Warren about my power, but it's not the right time. No pun intended. Dun -dun -dun. And and now to make the day end on the most surreal note, the sky went dark and we watched a solar eclipse that was not announced on the news or any astronomy site. What is happening to Arcadia Bay? The worlds are colliding. It's the end of the world party stuff. Hello? It's me. I'm sorry. Dude, hey, this game takes place in 2014. Would you look at that? Based on that right there. Dear Diary, I have the power to be on time and I ended up on a rooftop trying to stop my friend from jumping off while trying to prevent possible destruction on my hometown. I fell asleep at my desk and woke up reaching out to a rewind or grab Kate. I remember when my journal entries were about which anime character I wanted to be or my dreams of being a respected glo globe-hopping photography photographer or what me and Chloe would be doing when we were finally adults. At least we know how that turned out so far. Chloe's determined to get to the bottom of what's going on, so I've been playing What Would Chloe Do, which means blowing off my black hole homework to research everything I can and fight on Kate Marsh, Rachel Amber, and the esteemed Prescotts. It would be too easy peasy if they're all connected, but at this point, I think the whole town of Arcadia Bay is connected to this crazy shit. I could already see the story on the National Geographic channel, Mystic, Scientific, or Apocalyptic, the Arcadia Bay Tornado. Shudder. Speaking of fear, I could see Kate and her sad, hopeless eyes on the roof. I can't believe she's not here anymore. I heard some students are organizing a petition for Blackwell to set up a scholarship in her memory. That's uh, the least this could uh, this place could do for her. At least I feel better now that Nathan is suspended. It's good he's off campus for a few days. I hope. And I feel and I and like I give a shit if the Prescott family see sends a team of lawyers after me. Please, I doubt that I doubt they would like all the publicity. I doubt their tentacles reach into the rest of Oregon. Not yet, anyway. Uh, leave it to Chloe. Leave it to Chloe to make me sneak out past curfew and demand I meet her in front of the main building in the dead of night. I knew Chloe would be all over investigating campus after what happened to Kate here. This just makes Chloe more desperate to find out what happened to Rachel, if anything. Where's Rachel? <laughs> uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh oh, that's not what I want to do. Crap. What did I just do? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. 
Right, that one. Uh, crap. Here we go. Uh, it's funny that even though I think I can just remind myself out of trouble, I'm in more trouble now than ever before in my life. And I just bumped my mic. I'm sorry. If this is Twilight Zone story. I'd be getting set up for some serious, some serious irony. Like I'm going to rewind myself out of existence or something. Can I honestly say I'll have this ability for the rest of my life? Probably not. Are the tornado, the snow, and the eclipse just hallucinations or are they genuine prophecy? More important. I feel like she should write like a letter and then give it to someone and be like, open this the day or open this on Friday when a tornado comes. You're like, what? <laughs> More importantly, is this a curse or a blessing? Her powers are definitely going to disappear after tornado, by the way. I'm calling that right now. Chloe's alive and by my side, and that has to be a miracle, which means that there must be a way to stop my vision from coming true, right? So, yes, I broke curfew to hook up with Chloe. She said she had something to show me. Looks like it's time for me to do some serious detective work. Enter the Blackwell Ninjas! As I stealthily made my way out of the hall, I saw a shrine in front of Kate's door. I was surprised when it just popped up right after she died. Like everyone at Black Hole suddenly felt guilty for how she was treated. I am so glad that so many people wanted to honor her. The skill side of me says too little, way too fucking late, but I know that Kate would smile and forgive us all. Sigh, cry. Ha! <laughs> Look at Chloe with the keys. Uh, I can't really see because it's a freaking objective note. To find information about Nathan, Kate, and Rachel. Damn, that was close. I was doing so well until I go outside. And of course, it's Principal Wells of all people blocking the way. The one person I least wanted to see. I wasn't ninja enough for him, so yeah, he busted me. But I finally got to see that gossip was true for a change. What do you mean, busty? You rewound, you rebound time, you silly. Principal Wells was shit faced. He didn't even try to hide. In fact, he was a lot cooler drunk than sober. I could see why he's so confused dealing with Kate's family and the Prescotts and David Madsen. He acts suspicious and gives me way too much tood, as he would say. Nobody says that seriously. Uh, but I could see that he's under a lot of pressure, so much that he's wasted and he can't use his keys at midnight. Sure, he was in my way, but he was no match for my rewind power. After all, I had to go and meet Chloe, bad max. I kind of wish that I didn't use my rewind powers there, just, just so he would remember. Or at least, I like that conversation, you know. Oh yeah, well, it's lost in time now. Even though I thought I was in full ninja mode, Chloe scared the shit out of me, which pissed me off considering what I've been going through. Sometimes she's damn insensitive to other people's feelings. She wants all my attention for her and finding Rachel, and she gets all but hurt if I don't have time for her. Obviously, I don't have time in hand, but I can't stay mad at her for long, and she was so damn excited about having the keys to the main building. Honestly, I was pretty amped up too. Even more so than when we went to went to the front of the building and spied on Victoria Smack talking smack about me yeah that's all she freaking talks about man she talks about me a lot and we're just actually trying to blackmail mr jefferson to pick her photo for everyday hero contest she is freaking unreal like i give mr jefferson major respect for telling her to get lost even though she deserved to be expelled for pulling that crap this is this is her priority after what happened to kate i don't understand victoria no matter how hard i trace he's already rich pretty and good photographer why try so hard and hurt so many to manipulate everything already in your favor i just hope that's not what i'm doing with my rewind power Yes, there's something incredibly awesome about breaking your own school and at the witching hour. Although Chloe was technically worried, how could we break in with a key? Never mind, that was a stolen key from the school's head of security. Anyway, the back old ninja strike again! Ninjas! Uh, so cool to stock the halls when it's dark and quiet. Even with so many terrible things happening all around us, it felt like Chloe and I were walking towards the center of a great cosmic mystery, something bigger than any of us. Uh, but we kind of suck at the master spies things because we didn't have the key for principal's office. No worries, my rewind power at hand. Of course, Dr. Warren Graham. Grant? Graham? I, I, I always get confused how to say that name. Uh, he came through with a bitchin' mi mini bomb and made of sodium. What, 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 what the fuck or ever? What? I, pro <laughs> I probably learned more putting those in green together than the entire semester so far. Sorry, Ms. Grant. Warren is a star student here. He tries so hard to help. Maybe too much, but what's wrong with that these days? I'm so grateful he's on my team. This is a long-ass episode. Thanks, everyone, for watching. We'll check out the photos in the next at the end of the next one. Since, good lord, this is a really long one. See you guys later. Bye!